U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement is set to run out of money before October, and they are expected to be short an estimated $345 million this fiscal year. According to Axios, the overspending from ICE is fueled by the surge in migrants arriving at the southern border, and now the Department of Homeland Security has to pull together millions of dollars to make up for that deficit. Joining us now is the co-founder and CEO of Sentinel Security Solutions, Charles Marino, to discuss how ICE got into this financial mess. So we're going to toss that question to you, Charles. How do they run out of money? This is just something we don't expect. Morning, Mitch. Yeah, the uh, border and immigration crisis in the country just is, keeps on giving. Um, and it's affecting our national security this way now in the monetary sense where ICE is coming up, as you said, $340 million short. I think we're gonna find that low estimates being that ICE did not realize how the policies of this administration would actually drive illegal migration, caught them short. And I think we're gonna find with most government programs, unfortunately, mismanagement of funds. I mean, standing down remain in Mexico early in the administration cost a hundred million dollars to restart when the administration was ordered by the lower courts to do so. Now, ultimately the Supreme Court said the administration could get rid of remain in Mexico, but in the meantime, there's a hundred million dollars right out the window. You know, with the influx of migrants also comes international phone calls to call home. That to, that's to the tune of $14 million, $15 million to the new enforcement priorities of the Biden administration, which were overturned by the courts. So there's a lot of mismanagement here, but the really the low estimates is what's impacting this. And now they have to take from other national security agencies within DHS, like the Secret Service and FEMA and cyber and infrastructure security to recoup these costs. They, they only have 80 million to uh, reprogram internally, and then another whole 100 million is supposed to be coming from the Coast Guard. Okay, so it's not just a bad budgetary work there. It's also a change in policy causing a lot more money spent. It's also a record number of border interactions. So maybe they didn't see this many people coming. What is the future impact though on immigration? Because remain in Mexico will eventually go away again and then the United States will be responsible for all of the people that are coming in that are no longer remaining in Mexico. And there's a $345 million budget shortfall. How does all this get fixed? It seems, it seems like it's just not gonna happen. Well, it's not gonna happen right now based on the policies of the United States. I mean, that's truly the root cause of what's causing the migration crisis and, and what is drawing all of these illegal migrants to make the dangerous journey from their home countries because word is out around the globe that if you make it to the border of the United States, you're going to be let in. You know, the administration did not uniformly enforce Remain in Mexico. Uh, they did not uniformly enforce Title 42 uh, regarding COVID. So, you know, that word is out now and people are making the journey. And these numbers, as we're seeing in real time, are gonna continue to go up and up and up. But the big thing here is, now you've got to take funds from other agencies that also have very important missions. And I don't think they're going to be able to do accurate estimates uh, because I think that the crisis is going to get much worse than what everybody thinks it is. And the Coast Guard uh, helps people out. They try to make that journey from Cuba. They keep illegal migrants uh, out of our country on the water, and they also keep drugs out. And now DHS wants to move $100 million from them and put it somewhere else. Uh, that's interesting. Charles Marino, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.